Hello everybody. Um, I just want to take a couple of minutes to review some of the uh, solving compound and absolute value inequalities. And actually for this one I'm just going to focus on the absolute value part just to review how to do this. So for each of these we are going to solve and graph. I'll just do two just to get you warmed up here. Here's the first one. Absolute value of n minus 5 less than 7. So remember, the first thing that we have to do is figure out, are we going to treat this like an and inequality or an or inequality? And remember that we have to focus on the inequality symbol itself to figure that out. So right now this reads the absolute value is less than 7. So remember the, the trick that I told you was absolute value less than, kind of sounds like and, so that means we're going to turn it into an and inequality. So remember Remember that the right hand side of the inequality is the same for an and and then we just put the negative side on it as well. Uh, remember that when you're writing an and inequality the smaller number should always be on the right, the larger number should always be, I'm sorry, the smaller number should always be on the left, the large number should always be on the right and your inequality symbols should both be opened up to the right. That's how you know you got it uh, correct. So to solve this I'm going to break it up into the two separate pieces and then solve them each separately. So for this one I'm going to add 5 and get negative 2 less than n. For this one I'm going to add 5 and get n less than 12. And then for my final solution I'm going to sandwich it back together to make one inequality that looks like that. And again, smaller number on the left, larger number on the right, inequalities are both open to the right. Okay, now for the graph, label it. These are solutions of n. I'm going to put a 0, maybe negative 2 is here, maybe 12 is there. Since these are strictly less than, I'm going to use open circles at negative 2 and at 12, and then it's going to be all of these in here. Okay, so n lies between negative 2 and 12. So there's an example of an and um, absolute value inequality. The second one you can probably guess is going to be an example of an or. So let's just review that concept here. So for this one, we'll do h plus 1 in the absolute value greater than or equal to 5. Okay, so again, with here or with these, we have to figure out, are we going to do an and or an or? And in order to do that, we are going to um, take a look at the inequality itself. This one says that the absolute value is greater than, greater than 5. So greater has that or in it, so we're going to turn it into an or statement. So the first one is the same direction as the original, or. The second one, we're going to flip the inequality, make it negative. Oops. Um, sorry. Plus 1, flip it, make it negative. Okay. Now solve each one like a separate entity. So we'll go negative 1 to both sides on this one. So h greater than 4. why that's acting up. And then for this one, subtract and h less than or equal to negative 6. Okay. Then the final answer, 8 greater than or equal to 4 or h less than or equal to negative 6. Okay, now let's graph it. So this is h, um, maybe there's 0, here's 4, maybe negative 6 is there. Looks like we have a greater than or equal to, so close circle. And it's saying that h is bigger than 4 because it's opened up to the h. So all the numbers that are bigger than 4 go that way. For this one, again, it looks like we have a closed circle. 
and it's opened up to the 6. So that must mean that h's must be smaller than negative 6. Okay, so we want to show all of these that are smaller than negative 6. So that's what that graph looks like. Okay. The last one that I want to do is actually a word problem from your worksheet. Um, it's going to be number 17 on your worksheet. Actually, I can do 17 and 18. I just want to show you how to set them up. Okay, so here is number 17 from your worksheet, um, and it says, in 90% of the last 30 years, the rainfall at Shell Beach has varied no more than 6.5 inches from its mean value of 24 inches. Then it says, write and solve an absolute value inequality to describe the rainfall in the other, I should say other, 10% of the last 30 years. Okay, so it has varied no more than 6.5. Hmm. So what we're going to do is we know what the rainfall should be. We have the amount that it has varied. So the amount that it has varied is going to go outside because that's going to say it's either going to be plus or minus. So it's going to be either plus 6.5 or, or minus 6.5, okay? Um, so the trick with this one is that we're given the information for the 90%. We want to figure out the other 10%, okay? So if we were doing the 90%, we would know when it says no more than we would know that it would have to be that for the 90%. But the trick here is that we have to do it for the 10%. So rather than going less than or equal to, we want to do the exact opposite. We want to go strictly greater, okay, because that's the opposite. So that's the tricky part with this one, okay? So it's actually going to go this way. Oops, I forgot to change my color. <clears throat> got it <laughs> okay now we got to figure out what the heck to put in this absolute value all right well whatever the rainfall is we're talking about it being different from the um the mean okay so it's varying from the mean so because it's absolute value whatever it is we're going to subtract that from the mean, and that's going to tell us like that give or take amount. Okay, so this is the hardest part about a problem like this. So this is how you set it up. So again, the tricky part is this. We're looking for the 10%, so that's why this maybe at face value maybe doesn't seem to make a lot of sense because we want to think of it um, as the 90%. So we want to think of it like this, but again we have to do the exact opposite of that so that's why it's this and we're varying from the mean so the difference from the mean so whatever you have minus the mean is going to give you that difference okay so this is setting up the inequality all right now we have to actually solve this so it says that this is greater so that means we're going to turn it into an or statement so x minus 24 greater than 6.5 or x minus 24 less than negative 6.5 I'm sorry negative 6.5 not just negative 6 okay so now if we add 24 we get x greater than 30.5 or if we add 24 here, we get x less than 17.5. Okay, so there's the or, and it doesn't say to graph it. Um, so this is as far as we have to go. All right. So that's 17. The other one that I just want to help you set up and then you can solve it is 18. 
Okay, so here's 18. So I'm just going to help you set this one up and then um, you can uh, continue to solve it. So this one says a company's guidelines call for each can of soup produced not to vary from its stated volume of 14 and a half fluid ounces by more than 0 0.08 ounces. So it can't vary more than 0 0.08 ounces. Write and solve an absolute value and equality to describe acceptable can volumes. Okay, so it cannot vary more than. So it has to be smaller. It can be 0 0.08, but it can be smaller or equal to 0 0.08. So this one doesn't have that trick like that last one does, this, or like that last one did. Okay, so kind of like that last one, we're going to set up our inequality somewhat similar. So the amount that each can is going to have in it, um, we're going to compare it with this 14.5 fluid ounces. So x minus 14.5, because again, we have to compare the difference between what's produced and what the guideline says, okay? And that difference cannot be um, bigger than 0 0.08 ounces, okay? So this is how you set this one up. I know this can be challenging. So now this one, we are going to uh, turn into um, an and situation because it's less than that sounds like and. So this one is going to be x minus 14.5 less than or equal to 0 0.08. Then remember the other side, we just got to include that negative version as well. Okay, so you guys can solve this one from there. Um, and hopefully that gives you enough at least to get started on that one. So um, the rest of the time is yours to work and have a great day.